Finally, I've found one. I might have mentioned it in a couple videos, but I've been using this RGB to SCART adapter to connect my computers to a SCART monitor or my open source scan converter. It is great and I used it with my IBM 5150s, Tulip System Compact, Tulip PC Compact 2, Laser 286 and Turbo XT, but I kept looking for a color RGB monitor with 9 pin connector and finally I managed to find a nice one. I had to persuade the seller to ship it, which they luckily did. They sent me all the styrofoam they could find around their house. So here it is, it's a Philips. Before we look at the front control, let's take a look at the back. It has an internal power supply, controls for horizontal, vertical, size and shift, the thing I was after, a DB9 connector and an RGA jack for audio. The front controls are very nice. Also a volume control and a button labeled green that we will try later. The model number is CM8832-2. I like this logo with the cubes. It has two Philips logos on the front. Also there appears to be a headphone jack on the side. On the bottom it has a stand so you can make the monitor stand up more straight. It's time to give it a test. I got this Delock Premium cable which makes no difference probably, but this is the cable that had the fastest delivery time. I plugged everything in. Let's turn the Tenny 1000EX I want to test this monitor with on. I got out of the bunch of my floppy disks, of which my collection is ever growing. My box software collection remains small though. I had to use the knobs on the back and front to adjust the picture. My Tandy 1000DX needs RetroBright, but also its floppy drive needs to be serviced, since it kept giving read errors. The first disk I tried apparently contained someone's tax returns. This type of data I find often in between old disks. Also, there's a slight flicker noticeable when filming this monitor. Of course, that is common with CRTs. I tried changing my shutter speed to make things look better, but that did not help. I tested this Oracle disk that demonstrated the software they had at the time and the abilities it had. One of the few boxed 5.25 inch titles I own is Planet X3, a fun game which looks very nice on the monitor. Now I know why I wanted a real CRT. Those bars when you turn it on look great. Infiltrator looked dramatic, no clue if it's a game or just a sort of demo. The green button worked. Ultiboard is something I wanted to try, but Tandy refused to load it. Pukumpa? Interesting title for a file. As always, I have to give WordStar a bit of a go. I love word processors. This slide program, also very awesome. So yes, I am very happy finally with my DB9 capable RGB monitor. The Tandy of course will return for its TLC, but for now this short video will come to an end. Thanks for watching. <laughs>